today with uh, New York City Mayor Adams, who was quite outspoken about the critical need for amending bail reform measures through both enhanced judicial discretion and things like dangerousness being considered and much needed discovery reform. So my question is, do you believe that these same changes are necessary and appropriate to improve public safety and reduce criminal activity in the city of Rochester? Yeah, well, I think judicial discretion is something that, um, I, you know, I would like to see as long as it's fairly applied. Um, I think one of the things that we um, could, could seriously use help with in the city of Rochester as it relates to violence. And the first thing, the one point I want to make is, is that um, about 1%, less than 1% of the population in Rochester are, are violent. Um, so the, the vast majority of Rochester is not violent, out of control. We have the, what we need to make sure that we do a better job in is zeroing in on the individuals that are creating the mayhem and the chaos in Rochester. And we know who those individuals are. And, and that's what we need to do a better a better, uh, a better job of doing. Um, as it relates to bail reform, and I've said this to my team, um, you know, it, this is still a new concept. What, what I'm interested in is, is, is looking at the data to see if um, that is really um, the, the main driver of more violent crime in Rochester, because I talked to some of my colleagues around the state, um, mayors of Cleveland, Pittsburgh, we talk regularly. They don't have bail reform and they're, and they're dealing with the exact same issues as it relates to violent crime. So if, if it is um, bail reform that's that, that's causing that after I look at all the data and see that, hey, let's look and see what changes need to be made. Um, the other challenge, uh, problem that I have in Rochester is the iron pipeline. And everyone should know what the iron pipeline is. Uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, not gun, not legal gun owners that are going to see Jamie Romeo, our county clerk, but we got uh, illegal guns coming in through um, New York State um, come, arriving in Rochester among the, uh, along the iron pipeline, and we have to figure out a way to, I need help with that. And that's something that I can't do. Um, it's something that our police officers can't do, but when they are faced with people who have firepower that is more than some armies and small countries have, that creates a serious problem for, um, for our citizens. So I think that to attack violent crime, Senator, um, we have to look at all of the above. And, 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 and if we do that, I think we will see um, a safer, more prosperous Rochester. But I do just want to reiterate that Rochester is safe. There are some individuals that are um, wreaking havoc and, and they need to be dealt with. Well, well, thank you. I think bail reform is a critical key component to getting this accomplished for the city of Rochester. Thank you, Senator.